like an agent nation. It's your man, Agent Beamstar. Let's get a roy into the news. Woo! It's the first 2K20 drama alert, ladies and gentlemen, man, since the game dropped. So there's a lot of stuff to cover, man. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, right? Agent Beamstar is back at it again for our first story of the day. Woo! Things got real juicy the first few days of NBA 2K20's launch. There was a lot of heat being thrown. People felt disappointed. Ronnie was lying right to our faces. We finally got a response officially from the NBA 2K Twitter. They said, 2K community, speaking loudly emoji. Although many of the issues seen after launch have been fixed. Have they though? We know there are still others we need to resolve. Our dev team is working around the clock to prepare an upcoming patch that will address other significant issues. Thanks for your patience. Not gonna lie to you, when the game first came out, I was feeling some type of way. I didn't think it was gonna be a top tier 2K, but everything in my body was telling me to reserve judgment, wait agent, play the game agent. Finally got off that bum ass stretch big build, and now I'm using my three level score. I'm having so much more fun. So I'm really happy I didn't just hop on here in the first week and say this game was gonna be ass. Hey, shout out to whichever dev added 3v3 Prime. Brilliant, having a lot of fun on that. For our next story of the day, Oh man, if you guys missed this on Twitter, then you missed out, but I'm here to catch y'all up, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie2k likes to flex that he's cool with all these celebrities and Instagram people and this and that. And this time was a great example of when flexing goes wrong. He put out this tweet saying, three minds, three visions, three journeys, same goal, to change the game. Trophy emoji, at Carl Towns, at Rich Kleiman. Where Carl Anthony Towns, the one who's in the photos, quote tweeted that tweet saying, I'm surprised you still have a job. Hashtag fire on 2K with a whole lot of crying laughing emojis. Twitter, 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 Twitter had a blast with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look right here, man. The tweet itself had 35,000 likes. Davis responded saying, bruh. Swante with the LMFA. Cash Nasty dropped a whole lot of skull emojis iPod reply, oh no, with a sideways crying laughing emoji. Whoa, with the crying tears emoji. So basically the whole 2K community was having a blast with this tweet. <laughs> In the caption, you would have thought they were boys, especially cause Carl Anthony Towns, I don't know if he's still on it, but he used to be a part of Team 2K, which means he worked closely with NBA 2K. So that's, that's very funny. I wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. For our next story of the day. <laughs> That's it right there, baby. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a badge glitch since the game's dropped. And I, I swear to you, every year there's a badge glitch and it's the same damn badge glitch. There's nothing different about it. The same one from last year. And for the first week or so, there's been nobody getting banned for it. But 2K came out with the update and after that update, anybody who engages in the glitch has been getting banned. NBA 2K20 Intel dropped this tweet saying, more people getting banned. There was a whole lot of people in the replies sending screenshots of their account getting banned, et cetera, et cetera. So if you were one of the first people to do the badge glitch when the game came out, you're safe. Looks like you're not being touched. But if you continue to do that glitch, then you're being banned, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not gonna be surprised if more badge glitches don't pop up. I've been seeing plenty of people I know are fake 99 overalls with all their badges. But just know, it was once safe, you could have done it, but now it is no longer safe and you're taking a risk. If you do it, you might get banned. If you do, you're gonna have to rebuy the game on another account, and who's trying to do all that? For our next story of the day! Um, someone find Cash Nasty, send this guy some help. What has he been drinking? He put out this tweet saying, my obsession with meat has gotten so bad. I literally go to the grocery store every day just to look at it. I dead ass get a high from it. I gotta fix up my life, man, dot, dot, dot. Y'all gonna think this is funny and all, but I'm being open about my obsession and y'all laughing, dot, dot, dot. I'm not gay, I'm straight. Come on, don't play me. <laughs> I just kind of thought he was joking. It felt like a situation in which a person would be joking. So I responded, I feel the same way about chicken. I do, but okay. Cash responded to that tweet and it's when I knew he lost his mind. With raw or cooked, I like looking at raw meats. Do you Cash? Huh, I didn't know that about you. This is the first time I've heard that. I responded with the oh so infamous, please say psych SpongeBob meme. Oh man, my meme game is 10 out of 10, I'll tell you that. Um, yo, I do the meme videos on Twitter, by the way, so if you have a funny meme, follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna do another one hopefully in like a week. So if you are close friends with Cash, please send the guy some help. 
There's no reason he should be staring at raw meat and getting turned on. Doesn't make any sense. And if you work at a grocery store, watch out. Watch out for cats. <laughs> For our next story of the day, um, I've seen some crazy clips on Twitter, man. This one here takes the cake. I'm gonna let you watch it. Ooh, here we go, poster. Disrespect, disrespect, here we go! Do you see that right there, ladies and gentlemen? They almost fought. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. They need to add the uppercuts to the game. Oh yeah, they add uppercuts to the game. It's gonna greatly improve the quality of the product. I'm not lying to you. I don't know what happened after this clip, but if it ended in then I wish you would've extended the clip a little longer. I wanted to see what happened. That takes the cake for the craziest clip I've seen all 2K20 so far. I just wanted to show that to y'all. It wasn't really news. For our next story of the day. Hey, Mike Wang's back at it again. Hey, I put a lot of respect on Mike Wang's name. I like to joke a lot, but he's been killing the game, all right? The gameplay, in the second, third week of 2K20 has felt solid. There's a few changes they need to make though, and I've been wanting to try and tell Mike Wang, Mike, you gotta change a couple things about the game. Now, I don't know if this was the right move though, because Mike Wang put this tweet out on Twitter. I just posted badge feedback for balancing on Reddit. So basically he was going to Reddit to try and uh, get feedback about the game to see what needs to be changed. Davis responded, oh brother, people are talking about brick wall being weak. Please don't listen to them. Swante responded, nah, G, delete that. There's never been one decent 2K player on NBA 2K Reddit. They gonna request a lot of nut They worse than the mind of the stretch big. The list goes on and on of people that were uncomfortable with the idea of Reddit being the one to make changes. So a whole lot of people literally made Reddit accounts just to participate in this feedback session. And it's not uncommon for developers to do that. I've seen plenty of games. I know it's been done on Overwatch before. Actually, EA is pretty big with Reddit. For a while, Twitter has been that place for NBA 2K. So this might just be Mike Wang trying to see what other communities think and if it's in line with what the people on Twitter are saying. Now, I don't really go on Reddit to know what those guys are up to, but if they're running around saying brick wall needs to be buffed, then... Ah! Don't know about that one, Chief! For our next story of the day, oh, we've had some very good memories in this here memory lane, ladies and gentlemen. Do you remember last year when I did that little documentary about ISO for Stretch Big? There was that debate going around. Everyone's arguing, you take no skill, you take no skill. Well, we haven't seen much of that. It's been a lot of peace in the 2K community. But recently, as of a few days ago, that's beginning to change. Cole the Man put out a tweet saying, centers, role players, you rely on your guards to win games. You rely on two buttons to win, circle to set a screen, and triangle to get a rebound. None of you centers could ever hop on guard and be half decent as me, LMFAO. And that tweet got a lot of love, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, though, that's a polarizing opinion. People have something to say about that. Hank the Tank said, facts. Grinding responded, LMAO, chill. Centers can change the game by out-rebounding the other team, but I get what you're saying. I hate when the inside I'm playing with talks about a shot I miss. G Sice responded saying, you need a good center as much as you need a good guard. It's a team game, Cole. I agree, but you've played both roles. Which one is easier, bro? G Sice responded, center. Now Cole the man lives with Hollywood and still decided to post this tweet caption. How many brain cells did you lose watching this? With a sideways crying laughing emoji. He doesn't beat comp. He just dribbles for videos just like Cole and the rest of that ISO game. I, 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 I know. They ain't comp no more, bro. They don't beat comp anymore. Cizo was a god in 15 and 16 when he used to pull up on people in the stage and rock their sh To me, you aren't comp unless you beat comp. See, now that's interesting. He took shots at Steezo, but he also aimed a rifle at Cole the Man, who he lives in the house with. Davis responded with, unplug the router in the house so no one else has to hear this. <laughs> Swante responded, strong demonic energy coming from Holly, like if you missed the old Holly with a Lilo and Stitch gift. And obviously Steezo wasn't messing with it. He responded on Twitter saying this, if you was on 16 and you wasn't comp, then you was never comp. You're all garbage and build made. Also, stay in school kids. The world doesn't need no more YouTubers. Go be a pediatrician. <laughs> I play 3,000 games a year and win 95% of my games all ISO. Just going for clips. I've never hopped off a spot and ran from anybody. I hate these 2K stigmas, but I also got nothing to prove to nobody. God bless y'all souls. So it seems as though, and I thought we was past this, but there's a rift being created between the ISO people 
And it's not even no other side. It's literally ISO and then everybody else. It could be a lockdown. It could be a, a center. It could be a sharpshooter. And it's taken the dribblers this year a little bit more time to figure out how the game plays because the dribbling is so different. I'm assuming it's going to continue to escalate. This feels like the beginning of another documentary. I'm playing. <laughs> keep it a beat with you guys. It hasn't been much drama between YouTubers in the last like two months. It's been so peaceful. Agent Beamstar, I'm so proud of the community, man. If I don't have to do this job, then that means we're winning. There's no drama. Even though it can be entertaining at times, it's also like exhausting. Like, geez, let's get over it, fellas. For our next story of the day, Oh Lord, ladies and gentlemen, I was just trying to kick back and join my night. Couldn't do that though, because Ronnie2k hopped on a caffeine stream and everybody in that stream was asking, why doesn't Davis and Agent have a logo? Um, the way caffeine works is that you leave a comment and if people like your comment, it stays up there longer. And so all Ronnie was looking at all day was why doesn't Agent and Davis have a logo? Well, this was his response. We're both scanned and they don't want their scans for whatever reason. So it's kind of weird for us to give them the logos when they won't use their scans. That's the struggle. Now, first off, Ronnie, you look dead on that stream, like totally miserable. So I don't even know why you booted up. If that's how you get move, I would never start a stream and then come with this energy right here because then no one's gonna wanna watch. But hey man, that's just me. Number two, I talked to Agent Zero. He told me to tell y'all, all cap. I mean, not that we should be surprised at this point. That's all he's been doing for the past two months. That doesn't make any sense. There's plenty of people that don't have face scans that had the badge on him. But because people kept asking, basically all night, Ronnie2k expanded further. I've already talked about Agent's logo. He's scanned from last year, but he didn't want to He's got to release his likeness to us and he didn't sign the contract, so um, without a scan, I can't uh, put his logo on there. <laughs> I don't know where to start because there's so much you guys don't know. All I'm going to say is, if we're being honest, Ronnie, that wasn't the only thing on the contract. Davis was watching the stream, responded on Twitter saying, so much cap on this app tonight. I responded saying, welcome to the club. Oh, not I. Sorry. Holy camoly. Don't want to get us confused. Agent Zero responded saying, Welcome to the club. I've been dealing with this for two months. Face palm emoji. Joe Knowles responded with the oh so ironic hashtag release the contract. Uh, so the stream kind of went on. Ronnie made like a couple fat jokes like he usually does. Whatever. <laughs> fat jokes. I don't mind, Ronnie. I get them on a daily basis. But the lying, the lying I mind. <laughs> Whatever, whatever, who cares, it's a logo, I don't care. Sources tell ESPN Ronnie2k has been lying for months now and has added to the list by claiming Agent and Davis didn't get a logo due to not wanting their face scans. Agent and Davis are denying these allegations. <laughs> for our next story of the day, um, there's been some news, some positive news here actually. Look at this tweet. The NBPA, for those who don't know, the NBA Players Association, is proud to announce a partnership with 2K, the NBA, and the ESL, which, um, What's it called? The eSport League? I don't know. It's one of those like eSport websites you can play games on. World's large, well, it explained it. Here we go, guys. I'm getting worse at my job. World's largest eSports company to create the NBA 2K20 Global Championship. Link to the press release here. Today, 2K is excited to announce it's partnering with et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Featuring more than 100,000 in prizes, the NBA 2K20 Global Championship is the new competitive tournament designed for aspiring NBA 2K players worldwide. Now, I mean, in summary, basically they're handing out like $100,000 in like this league format thing, but it's gonna be on 5v5 Play Now, which I think is surprisingly dope. Now, I don't play Play Now anymore. I also think Play Now is dead. But it's not really dead, I'm just joking. There are still plenty of people who play play now, and they play competitively. I used to do that back in 2K 13, 14, a little bit in 15. I'd hop on game battles, and uh, when Virgin Gaming was a thing, that's what I did. So it's kind of cool that those people that do that are finally getting some love. If you do that competitively, here's a chance for you to win money doing it. NBA 2K 20 tweeted out saying, Announcing our first ever NBA 2K Global Championship, the tournament will feature head-to-head -head competition and play now with grand prize of 115,000 fire emoji. Visit mpa2kgc.com for more details. So that's dope. If you're in the play now community, there you go. Obviously the common concern a lot of people had was the servers. CSB replied to that tweet saying, can't even play play now online without blue screening. How do you expect to revolve a whole tournament for actual money around it? But that's a problem they've had for a while. 
When they did the Road to the Finals and Road to the All-Star Game, the Pro-Am tournaments, they had the same issue. When they did the My Team tournament last year, they had the same issue. In the NBA 2K League Finals of Season 2, they had lag issues. It's been an ongoing issue in all of their esports. 2K's motto at this point is just, ah, they'll figure it out. Sometimes they never do. There was teams in 2K16's Pro-Am tournament that lost because they were booted offline. And 2K just ignored it as if it never happened. So it's like when you're playing in like a competitive esports thing, you're trying to have a fair, balanced playing field. And you can't have that when there's these technical issues in the way. So hopefully 2K can put a little bit more focus on it and it can come out clean. But I mean, what's the chance that actually happened? For our final story of the day, um, there's another update, so yeah. Mike Wang, I'm not gonna lie to you, he's been getting better over the last few years at knowing what to change, when to change it. Some of you guys hate change, and you're like, oh, don't change the game because people are complaining. It's called balance! Everyone tries to appeal, Agent, you just wanna change this part of the game to benefit you. No, you pathetic bum. Maybe you're projecting because that's what you would've done, but I'm a gamer. It's what I do, I've been doing it my whole life. Whether it was SOCOM, Watch Dogs, NBA 2K, Call of Duty, Killzone, name a game. I always want what's best for the game. Some of you guys don't think like that. That's your problem. For me, it's always the what's best for the game. There's a few things that I've been trying to put on Mike Wang's radar. And it's things that we could all agree on if we're being honest. I kindly ask that you reduce the frequency at which players can successfully pass out of a shot and reduce the success at which an individual can click square and steal the ball. Those changes, if made promptly, would make me very happy. Passing out a shot needs to be nerfed way more. You shouldn't even be able to complete it remotely consistently unless you have that garbage badge they made for it this year. And steal success rate, I benefit if they don't change it. I have a 31 steal rating on my player and I'm poking it from playmakers. God, God forbid you just wanna improve the game. There is a balance though, because Mike Wang, especially back in 2K17, where he would just change way too much and nobody could adjust to the game because he'd be always changing things. So I feel like he's gotten better because he put out this tweet on some changes he's making to the game. This morning's update includes fix for fewer missed open layups, buff to the unpluckable badge, nerf to brick wall knockdowns, which is huge. And no one's gonna agree on everything, but I think he's doing a really good job of noticing what is unbalanced and then giving it the right buff. The only time he's messed up so far in 2K20 is when he like increased the game speed way too high and there was no more speed gap and so bigs were as fast as guards. But aside from that, he's been on top of his game. Shout out Mike Wang. I hope you continue to communicate this stuff with us. We don't like when things get changed. We have no idea. We gotta figure it out ourselves. That's annoying. So Davis was complaining that they changed Melo's base in the last update without saying none. That shouldn't be the case. So I think he's doing a good job for the most part. Can he do better? Yes, Mike Wang, you can. All right, he knows he can. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Agent B and started one and only drop a like. Look, ooh, why are all these videos doing on the screen, man? Hey, get out the way. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna let you click on one of those. I'm gonna head out of here, all right? <laughs>